quite a bit to get through. Um, players were bound to Starwalt. A win, clean sheet, a guest on Tykes TV with a, a, a match one shirt. Uh, so quite a bit to get through. Welcome, you know, I see you from Tykes TV. Uh, so before we even get on about the Cheltenham game, thoughts and prayers are with Beth Sefton. Uh, got brought to my attention early Friday evening about Beth being in a, a critical way. Life changing life, you know, life operation. Uh, really, really bad operation. Uh, not doing too much because it's not fair to family and that for obvious reasons. But in the next 48 hours, we're going to be, or is going to be, for, uh, you know, critical for Beth. So thoughts and prayers with Beth for Bounds of Stalwalt in her own right. Been via, I mean, I've, I've known Beth Beat Club for a couple of decades, like now, going to get season tickets and stuff like that. But, you know, a very job job, what she did. So, very, very well thought of lady. Uh, a great touch as well by the fans, chanting her name. Uh, Beth Sefton, she's one of his own. So, again, thoughts and prayers with Beth. And, you know, I'll be more can see her at Oakwell. Not too. Uh, not too long. So again, back to the game. Um, a journey, an early journey for uh, a lot of us going down. Started off pretty well from being, you know, we we're in and amongst it. A good following, making some noise. Like I said, chance for Beth Sefton. Uh, you know, that extra spur that we needed, I think. Um, I know it got mentioned out in press and stuff that, you know, reasons behind it kind of thing it kind of spurt plays on give him that bit extra impetus not that we don't need it i don't think you know the run we've been on at the moment you can see players improving playing as a united team you know or everybody's in it together and pleased to see certain individuals on bench as well so going back to norwood i mean his, his goal you know build up to it unbelievable you know, just like knocking the door right from you know chomping up a bit a couple of goals of season contenders not long after, you know, Herbie Kane, Adam Phillips. So, again, what, what signs via? We're, we're still taking it. Meant to get his fourth, just put icing on cake. Could it have been more, you know, nitpicky, critical? Could it have been, you know, five, six? No, no disrespect to Cheltenham. Any real threat by them? No. Uh, Laresh, again, at left wing back. In place, uh, Karen, who um, went away because his, his missus went in labour. Again, Laresh slotted in. Again, another another all-round professional team performance, if it makes sense. A lot of positives on, on, on show. Um, you know, Norwood doing what he does. Bobby Thomas, again, you know, influential what how he is. Anderson is dead, quiet, but when called into action at times, did what he had to do. So again, 3 0 up at half time. Could have been more. And it's you no, know, not, not being disrespectful to Cheltenham, but we could have been more. Um second half, you always know Cheltenham are gonna be coming out and trying to adapt their play into the game to us. We got fourth, substitutes being med. Great to see Luke Thomas. Great to see Luke Thomas coming on to pitch. Uh, nasty injury he had. And, you know, to come on to pitch, see him run about, get stuck in. It was plain to see. It was like, oh, it, you know, you just at the back of your mind thinking, oh, no, awkward. Do, you know, just do what he's got to do. But he did what he had to do. Uh, full full credit to the lad. Um, again, you look all the way around pitch. Everybody did, did the job, the new overall players that came off. They done what they had to do. Players what came on, you know, Tedich making a difference again. Ollie Shaw seeing a few glimpses of him again. Started coming to it. We still got other players to come back as well. Not forgetting, you know, Benson, Max Watters, uh, Colin McCarthy, and all another player what's been out long term. So again, there's. I think now we're seeing not only a team strength. But we're also seeing, or I am, 
you might agree, disagree on this one. I'm seeing a kind of squad depth, a squad what's don't rest on your laurels, but I think now every player, I believe anyway, I think every player is being pushed for their own start position in the in the team to start. Whether that be from being number one in goal to all the way up to the strikers. Um Jordan Williams again, you know, confidence. You just can see confidence always in front of the team at the minute. I think I've seen a stats on where we've got best away record in league on form or something like that. So again, now we're coming into some tricky games coming up. Um no respect to your Cheltenham's and that, but some big sides are going to be coming to work well. So now we need to be taking that into it. As you may or may not know, Caleb, who was a guest on Tights TV, um, it was his birthday and we wished him well. If, it, if you didn't see the previous video, I've looked at the Cheltenham preview game. But we do wish him well for his birthday. Um, I know that some of the fans sung happy birthday to him. He's got his name up on board at Cheltenham, so full respect to that. And also he got a match one shirt from his uh, favourite player, James Norwood. Match one shirt, uh, sent me a photo and then it got put on social media. But yeah, young Caleb, happy birthday. Belated happy birthday for yesterday. I did wish you happy birthday before, mate. But great to see that you've got a match one shirt. Uh, something to treasure, something to uh, keep and uh, something to remember by on a, on a great day out for you, mate. So yeah, congrats on that one getting a match one shirt. Uh, going back to the game, Bit of a, you know, there are a few people in contention for man of the match for me, um, but my own personal choice, and I don't know what it's going to go in comments. Like, please let me, have, you know, your saying comments below your man at match on the day. For me, was Irby Kane. I thought his pass, what started the first goal off, his ball for staff and his, his split running pass, we've been crying out for crying out for balls like that. I think that, as well as his goal, well-taken goal, and his all-round contribution as well, and not just in this game, but on a few games, but I know it's my man at match for the game, not for the last few games, but just on the game itself, he pinged the ball straight through for first, you know, for first uh, goal, get to get things going. His well-taken goal, and his all-around contribution in game. So for me, my man at match would be Kane. You know, honourable mentions against Luke Connell, Norwood, Williams, Anderson. You know, Phillips. You could you could pick a good few out there. Um, and again, it's a good situation to be in when you're thinking about who oh, I'm going to name man at match for the right reasons. There's people be contention for it rather than thinking I can't think of anybody. So my man at match is Herbie Kane. Well done. One of goals at day got to be one of goals at day that on highlights reel, if not month. Um, well taken and it came across and swivel swivel around and, and pinged it in. So yeah, we're going to Derby game. Uh, that's going to be a, a tester. I know they're wanting uh Oakwell to be red with scarves and whatever you've got. Gonna be they're gonna be fetching a good following. We will be doing a preview for that. Uh, I'll be one going to be doing a live sometime this week. Uh, just when I can fit it in, uh, work schedule and stuff like that. But I want to begin a live. I've done a live for a bit. I'll open up a Q and A session to to you other fans. Uh, being interested in this, seeing how far we've got. But yeah, my man at match. Here we came. A balance of win, clean sheet. Back at Oakwell. Uh, before we go, thoughts and prayers to Beth Sefton. Uh, all bands of you know community, if not the football community, will know. Yeah, thoughts and prayers uh, to Beth, her family, and her close friends and work colleagues. One thing left to say, you were it. <laughs>